Welcome to Long for the Ride. We're here at Cedar Point to check out the new boardwalk. As you can see here, we have the Wild Mouse Coaster right behind us. We're so excited to go in and get a little sneak peek. waiting in line and I, we brought our two guests but really there's four of us <laughs> this is the one this is the two this is the three you're the four yeah that's right Seth, what is your favorite color guys um my favorite color is pink and i like black and white um, what about you? my favorite color is blue Okay, and the other colors? I like pink also. Okay, is that it? Yes. Okay. Second question. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Favorite food? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what my favorite food is going to be here today, but... I'm excited. I like desserts. I'm excited. They have a strawberry shortcake, it looks like, possibly. Someone said that they might have that today, so I'm really excited to try that, because that's my favorite dessert. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm here for the desserts, for sure. Do you have any Cedar Point questions you want to ask us? What is your favorite hotel at Cedar Point? My favorite hotel is Castaway Bay. I think mine is Hotel Breakers. It's on the beach. And I like those two too. Yeah, those are good choices, right? What is your favorite ride that you hope you're going to go on today? I hope we're going to get to ride Wild Mouse, but I also really like Calypso. I'm not sure if that's going to be available for us to try today, but I do what like What about you? Well, I can't go on any rides because of Baby Bob, but um, if I could, I, Wild Mouse would be what I'd be most excited for. And any other rides? Um, maybe the new Atomic Scrambler would be really cool. Okay, okay we just entered the park. Um, we're seeing some entertainers already doing some fun things. We got some hula hoops over here. And it looks like the Atomic Scrambler got, um, is running. I don't know if we're allowed to go on it yet, but it looks super fun. Oh, hello. Hi. Ooh, look at that. She can do it while moving, too. Do you think you could do that? No? <laughs> so fun. the Grand Pavilion. It is so, so pretty. It looks gorgeous. We're gonna pop in and check out the food. We're really excited to give it a try. So there's the Lakeview Bar upstairs and they have restrooms upstairs as well. We're in line here. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I see pork tenderloin, turkey breast, uh, funnel cake fried shrimp, chicken tenders, rotisserie sandwich, beer battered fish, and then they have all sorts of sides to go with it as well. I see steak fries, salt, uh, potatoes, tropical fried rice, a shaved Brussels sprout slaw, cold noodle salad, and a marinated cucumber salad. This looks so fun. Okay, we are out on the patio and it is beautiful out here. You get views of so many things. You get the beach, 
you get Wind Seeker, the Wild Mouse, and everything. It's so, so cool looking. They are doing a really cute little show right in front of the Ferris wheel. We are eating right now, so it's um, hard for us to get over there, but it looks really cute. They have all sorts of tricks going on. Um, it looks really fun and very like kind of circusy, carnival like. Perfect for the boardwalk. We'll have to check it out one day. We're gonna talk a little bit about Calypso. So Calypso used to be called Calypso when I was a kid and then they renamed it Tiki Twirl. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't stop calling it Calypso. So it's been Calypso my entire life and so we're gonna go ride it and see if it's a little bit new and fresh. Okay. Anna and Rachel are gonna get in line for Calypso. So fun, we love that it's back to its original name. We used to ride it as Calypso several years ago and it was one of our all time favorites then. So it's kind of nice to have the name back. I was sad when I came and it was renamed Tiki Twirl, not gonna lie. It is so, so nice here on the boardwalk. We are absolutely loving it. We have Matterhorn. Again, I really am just loving like the new theming that they have happening. Um, that is really one of like the highlights for me is just seeing this like new kind of retro vibe. How was that ride, guys? So much fun. Troika got a new sign too. Everything over here looks like it got a new sign which just makes the atmosphere ambiance so much more fun. We are loving it. Okay. Looks like they're gonna get to ride it by themselves. Walk please. How was it? I don't know, let's go see if it's open. How was your first ride of the season? Was that so much fun, the first ride of the year? Yeah? That was How was it? So smooth. <laughs> they definitely Good. made it smoother, it's brighter, it's faster. So awesome. Every time I ride that, I forget what a thrill it really is. Yes. The Atomic Scrambler. I love the new sign and the paint job, and it almost looks like a brand new ride, which is so cool. Um, it looks really refreshed. And there goes Lion Mouse. We absolutely love the new boardwalk. So what's really cool about the new Wild Mouse coaster is that it does seat four across. So that means your entire family can ride together. And that is a really cool experience, especially when you're coming to Cedar Point with your family. This is a ride that is not unique. It does have sister roller coasters in China and Mexico, Russia, all over the world. Each are uniquely themed. So this is our unique version of it. It is a free form twister coaster. And that means that no ride is the same. So every time you go on to this coaster, you're going to get a unique ride experience. And that is something that's really awesome. So if you are here and you have a chance to try the Wild Mouse, remember that it is something that you can repeat over and over and over and get those different ride experiences each time. There's Larry coming in. We have the purple one, which I think was either Oh, it's, I was going to say, it was something along those lines. Can't wait for an amazing 2023 season. Okay, recap of the boardwalk. I think it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited to spend the summer there. Oh, Anna oh got she got too. a really cool 
Post yeah, wild mouse. That's so sweet. That's gonna be fun to build. So, what were your like? In what way did it exceed your expectations? Were there anything that was like surprising? What was your uh, overall thought? Um, I mean, the Grand Pavilion itself is just so pretty, and like, not that I, I guess, I don't want to say anything exceeded my expectations because I already had high expectations, but I would <laughs> say it met my expectations. Um, cause I knew Cedar Point was going to do a great job with it. Yeah. So, um, I think one thing I didn't expect was like all of the new, like signage and everything, which I think I've already mentioned a couple times, but I really did like it a lot. And then of course the, the decor for the Grand Pavilion, it felt very luxurious yes. and we're at a theme park. So like to have that luxury type feel uh, was really special. Um, cleanest bathroom by far in the whole park probably most high tech also with the same. I didn't get to see it. I'll have to try that this weekend. <laughs> I'm hoping that they'll eventually one day, you know, redo all the bathrooms and they can look this good. Um, but yeah, I think just it definitely brings like a more fun excitement to this part of the park because I feel like for a little while there it was starting to just kind of be like, oh yeah, there's the, the Ferris wheel and there's Gatekeeper, but like people weren't excited to come up here. And now I think people are going to be excited to come up here. So I think it's going to start to become one of the more busy parts of the park, which I'm a little biased because now <laughs> our quiet little corner is going to be <laughs> really crowded, I think, but in a good way. And I think it's just going to bring so much fun and excitement to this part of the park. So I'm, I'm really excited um, for this area moving forward. I have to say too, I think that the best part, the feels that you get from this I just really love how they're incorporating the beach and they're really emphasizing the fact that this is not just your everyday theme park. It's a place that I want to go to and you bet your bottom dollar you're going to find us at this pavilion oh, more yeah. often than not. I think the bar upstairs, even if you're not a drinker, just to sit around in that little area, so it's much really seating, nice. such a nice, cool place to hang out and meet your friends. And as a family, it was very family oriented and so beautiful. I am so excited to explore more of the pavilion, all the little spots and details that we didn't get. The tile, the wallpaper, I know, I, I want everything. The tile in that I want that in my house. <laughs> I know. I, this is the first time I've been to Cedar Point and was like, I could put that in my home. It's gorgeous. <laughs> who did their tile? <laughs> so I. Cedar Point, let me know who, who hooked you up because I want them to come to my house. It was absolutely beautiful. And I oh, think it I was, that. <laughs> yeah, I know, me either. But it's just like a really, it's our style, I think, which is cool. I didn't expect that at all. I think that's where it exceeded my expectations yeah. as it was like, oh, and it's actually something. So this Very is really special. And yeah. It just, it, it felt. But it feels like it belongs. Perfect. And honestly, I don't miss Wicked Twister. I mean, I like this, the sister, but yeah, I think this was needed. Well, as, as a replacement for it, they did well. They didn't let us down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, all right, that ends our conversation about the Grand Pavilion. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. We're going to be visiting Cedar Point again frequently. So if you have anything and you want to know anything, we definitely don't mind finding some things out for you. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. We're getting so close to our... <laughs> to our goals and it's the biggest compliment you can give us. We really appreciate if you do that. Thank you for watching and we're going to see you in our next video. Bye. Goodbye.